Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HTBX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Not sure what I mean by 30 minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, a rough day for this one, although it, it could have been much worse from the charting perspective, and I'll just start off at that talking point. What do I mean by much worse? Well, to set up context here, that pink line on my chart represents the very well-known, the very famous 200 period moving average. And I mean, even if you have a very basic, a very surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period moving average, and you know that when the price is up above that level, then from a bullish viewpoint of things, you certainly want to see the price stay up above it, because that does imply that the overall trend you know, is still bullish. And that's what happened here. There was that nasty gap down. And then with the gap down, you can see that the price tried to make a move down below there, but to give credit or credits to, not only did the price find some support at that pink line, but actually got a very nice bounce from it. So a classic example right there of the 200 period moving average behaving as support. But the problem is that bounce, yeah, it maintained itself to an extent, but now is actually starting to work its way back downwards. So you can see here, like I said, got the bounce as I pointed out, but now has started to work its way downwards. So at this point, it's another valid question of, okay, well, is the price about to do battle with that 200 period moving average again? And if so, can it hold? So a very important level going forward, you're gonna be right down there around that dollar 95 mark. And the last thing you'd wanna see from a big picture point of view is for the price to break below that dollar 95 mark and then you know stay down below it. Because again, and like I said, this is not some sort of revolutionary statement on my part. Even if you have a basic understanding of technical analysis, you know that, yeah, the 200 period moving average is a very important area. Now, in the event the price decides it wants to try to bounce back upwards, as far as overarching areas of resistance are concerned, that's definitely still all about that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. You can see that's right where the price got rejected on Monday. So keep an eye on that. But as of right now, especially with the downwards pressure that showed up once again, the big dynamic now becomes, can the price continue to stay above that 200 period moving average? Let's see what happens with it on Wednesday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.